will cover the basics of sculpting model this stylized fish starting from a basic shape and yes i've also shared this base model for absolutely free yes you heard it right i said free on my gumroad so go and check it out so that you can practice it and don't worry we'll also model the base shape from scratch step by step it is going to be a beginner friendly video if you want your sculpt to look intentional and not accidental this video is for you so let's jump in so we'll start with the basic shape and for that first we'll add a cube and make sure that your cursor will be at the origin and if it is not then you can press shift c for your cursor to be at the origin so press shift a and here we'll add a cube then we'll switch to the edit mode you can press tab for that you will see the shortcut on your screen and here in the edit mode with we'll go to the face select here it is this is the edge select this is the vertex select we want the face select so with this face select we'll select this front face and we'll extrude it by pressing e we'll extrude it one more time we'll scale it down we'll grab it down and you can see we'll back to the object mode and now we'll apply subdivision surface modify to this you can press ctrl 2 for that here you can see in the modifiers we have successfully applied this now we'll back to the edit mode we'll select this loop you can go to the vertex select and select this loop holding the alt and then we'll grab it along y axis like this scale it up and with the face select you can also select this front face and grab it along y axis okay the shape seems nice now we'll back to the edit mode and here we'll select this back face and we'll invert it by pressing i invert it scale it up along z axis and now we'll just extrude it by pressing e extrude it one more time scale it up and extrude it one more time and there we go so back to the object mode and here you can see the shape now we have to add the fins over here so for that we'll press shift a and make sure that your cursor will be at the origin press shift c press shift a and add a cube we'll go to the edit mode we'll grab it along x axis we'll scale it down it seems nice and then we'll add a mirror modifier to this so in the modifiers we'll search for mirror modifier now we'll grab it along x axis like this and if we'll go to the x-ray mode by holding by pressing the alt z with the vertex select we'll select these four vertices we'll scale them down give it a shape like this okay so here we are going to add a loop cut by pressing ctrl r place it here now we'll select these two vertices and we'll grab them along the x-axis and give it a shape like this now we'll rotate this We'll rotate them by pressing R. You can also press R two times and rotate it according to you. Okay, so it seems nice. Now we'll add subdivision surface modifier by pressing Ctrl two. Back to the edit mode, and here we'll add a loop cut and bring it over here. Okay, this shape seems nice we 
we'll just scale them up okay so the next thing is that we are going to add one more fin over here so we'll do a shift c we'll add a cube over here we'll add subdivision surface modifier to this we'll bring it up we'll scale it down along x axis then we'll select these two vertices we'll grab them along y axis we'll also grab them and give it a shape like this we'll add a loop cut over here we'll select this we'll bring it down Okay, so back to the object mode and it seems quite nice okay so we'll just shade it smooth by pressing w and same to this okay now here you can see they all are separated so before joining them first we'll make sure that they all have the same modifiers for example if i'll select these fins they have the mirror modifier too so first we'll apply this and now it has subdivision surface modifier same for this and same for this now we'll select all of them by holding shift at last we'll select this and press ctrl j it seems nice now we'll just increase its level to four apply this what is edit mode you can see that it's quite detailed and now it's ready for sculpting you can also download this base mesh from my gumroad as i mentioned before so go and check it out for free okay so before proceeding further Note down one thing that while you're applying the subdivision surface modifier, make sure to keep the subdivision up to 4 or 5. Also the render level for more detailing. So your mesh will be a high poly. Okay, so the next thing is that we'll switch to the sculpt mode. For that you can press control tab and switch it from here. Or you can also switch it from here. Okay, so for these brush introduction, I'll add a add an icosphere so that I'll show you how these brushes look like. So I'm adding an icosphere and then we'll switch to the squat mode with this selected. And here we have different brushes. And for sculpting you need a drawing tab if you want to sculpt in details because with mouse it's not possible to sculpt in details so here we have different brushes like clay strip brush crease brush crease sharp brush draw brush and the grab brush these are the common brushes that we mostly use so i'll show you and here we have the mirror if you turn this on i'll turn this on a long way and here you can see how it works because here we'll select this brush first the draw brush and if i'll draw this you can see it's quite smooth because it's quite detailed it's a high poly mesh that's why it's that smooth from here you can change the size of the brush or you can also press f drag your mouse and change the size of the brush from here you can change the strength and this is the this button is used for pen pressure that how smoothly you are using your brush if you press it with pressure then it will show more strength okay so after that we have this we have this crease sharp brush you can see and if you press shift if you hold shift 
and draw then it will work as a smooth brush so simply for using the smooth brush you can press shift here i'm using the draw brush and if i use it like this you can see it's coming outwards but if i'll hold the control button then it will work opposite of this it going inwards so these are the common shortcuts or you can see the keys that we use while sculpting and then we here we have the dine topo and the remesh for example here we have this mesh and now you just want to sculpt at a particular area in a detail for that we'll use dine topo for example if i'll enable this and now i'll show you it in the wireframe mode if i'll sculpt it from far then it seems like this but as i'll zoom in then it will sculpt in more detail you can see i'll come out of the wireframe mode and that's how this line topo works as i zoom in as i'll go far then it become more while you use those you will get the difference clearly i'll turn this off and now i'll show you how to use the remesh as it is it is already a high poly then i'll take in another example and take a uv sphere you can see it's low poly but it's not that much detail so with this selected now if i'll hit r and make it this detailed you can see nothing happens over here for applying the remesh you have to press control r and i can see the difference clearly if i apply it one more time press control r and you will see the difference that's all these are the basics of the sculpting so it's all about the brushes and the keys if you want it if you want to use a smooth brush hold shift and draw and one more thing while you're in the sculpt mode you can see you can only sculpt on this you can't sculpt on this because right now this is the sil current selected object but if you want to switch it in the sculpt mode only then you can press alt q and now we can sculpt on this too that's how you can switch between different objects otherwise you have to switch to the object mode and then select this one then we'll switch to the sculpt mode again and it's quite lengthy so we don't want that so we'll press alt q and select the particular object we want so that's all for this part and we have covered some basic of few basic of sculpting and in the next part we will use them and sculpt our fish so stay tuned for the next part and hope you like it don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching